Harry DeBear didn't have to dream of the day he would quit his job and travel the world. He was doing it by age 32, from Venezuela to Vietnam, Colombia, the Philippines. Funded by money he made doing online trading, DeVere had nearly checked off his bucket list. He's been an adventurer since he was a little tiny kid. He'll tell me about the fabulous people he's met in small towns and villages throughout the world. But his great adventure had come to a grinding halt. He's missing Perdido in Mexico. He's dropped off the face of the earth, it seems, and that's not who he is. And I can only think that he's hurt and needs us because th there's no way he wouldn't have gotten word out to us. This weekend, his family tapped his Facebook page, finding new clues. He was riding this motorcycle, chasing butterflies in southwest Mexico, camping near Zitahuaro outside the JM Butterfly Bed and Breakfast. It was there he stumbled upon his next adventure. So what in hell? It's in Mexico. A little place on the Pacific Ocean. You know what the Mexicans say about the Pacific? It has no memory. He was told he was just five hours from the Zihuatanejo Beach made popular in the movie Shawshank Redemption. Just got an hour and a half long military escort out of some area it was too dangerous for me to be, he told his girlfriend by text on January 25th. Then later, hopefully get a chance to talk to you tonight when I hopefully finally arrive. Everybody says that this is just something out of a movie. And it doesn't, you know, it's, that's how I feel. I don't, I can't even like wrap my brain around what is happening. Local Mexican officials told CNN they are aggressively searching for DeVere in the state of Michoacan. That area is among the most dangerous in Mexico, where kidnapping and murders have spiked dramatically since the beginning of the drug war. He gave me the biggest, biggest hug and we both wept because who knew when I'd be seeing him again? And I just keep thinking, my life makes no sense without him in it.